If you're looking for cash flow real estate investments in the Cleveland market, you are in the right place. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to another episode of the MLS Search and Analysis Show. I'm James Wise. This is Holton Wise TV, and this is where I help people like you start, build, or grow your real estate portfolios in the Cleveland market. We're going to start things off with the education, then broker representation. We work for you. Then we handle property management, maintenance, construction, etc. And it's all a la carte, right? If you want the education and you want the broker representation, but you want to do PM on your own, that's fine. You can do it however way you want to do it. And the client I'm working with today is my man, Kerry. Kerry, you are looking for extremely profitable cash flow real estate investing. And I've told you in a previous video I filmed for you that I think your criteria is getting getting a little pie in the sky, bro. Like, you know, sometimes I got to rope you guys back into reality and let you know what's possible, okay? I'm not going to get up here on the show and just tell everybody out there, all the little kids out there, hey, little Timmy and little Johnny, Go ahead, pick up that basketball because you're going to be as good as LeBron. Look, motherfucker, you ain't going to be as good as LeBron, Timmy. You're not. It's not going to happen, Timmy. You're probably going to grow up and be an accountant. All right, sorry. Carrie, back to you. Your criteria at this point, it's, it's getting a little pie in the sky, right? So I reeled you back in with that last video, letting you know what's actually possible here in the Cleveland market, right? And that last property... That is approximately $20,000 cheaper than what I'm seeing most duplexes going for. And this one that I have uh, pulled up for you, same thing, dude. So in my opinion, these are the two hottest, best-priced duplexes that I've seen come across my desk in the last several months. So I think you're going to want to see this footage from when I previously analyzed it so you have the opportunity to get your bid in. So take a look at that footage, and then afterwards let me know if you want to make bids or if perhaps you want to just uh, hit pause on your investing and maybe wait till there's some type of market correction if there is. Because right now with the current stage of the market, pricing keeps going up. Your current criteria, I don't think there's a good shot you're going to get anything anytime soon. And every day where we're at right now, it's getting more and more unlikely that a property hits all of your goals. And this one's a treat, but you're going to need to move quick, brother, because this is a fully occupied duplex, right? Look at the rent roll there. Six hundo coming in from the 1-1, 550 from the 2-1, which, by the way, the address 1241 Belden Avenue, Cleveland, 44111. A beautiful, pure Blue collar C grade neighborhood that we have hundreds of duplexes. So this sucker's bringing in eleven fifty or thirteen thousand eight hundred. Now there's a little meat on the bone too, brother. The one one honestly market rent we can get that up to six fifty. That's what we normally rent those for at Holton Wise. As far as the two one, that's actually seven fifty, right? So there's two hundred fifty dollars a month left on the table here, right? But let's just run the numbers as it currently sits because this thing is priced ridiculously cheap, dude. 79.9. So 13,800 comes in. I anticipate you spending approximately 7,318 a year, right? That's your fixed and variable expenses, dude. That is things uh, that you're actually spending and then things that you're saving for. For instance, right? Repairs and maintenance, right? I have on there 5750 a month or 690 a year. Now, Property management, folks, it doesn't work like you just drop like $57 every month on repairs. It's not how it works, right? It's a lot of zeros, and then it's like a big repair, right? One of the biggest repairs is going to be a turnover, right? Hey, lenders, are you looking to be part of our referral program? If so, send us an email at sales at holtonwise.com. <laughs> but if your tenants are there for like three years, then they move out, boom, that's probably like a two, three thousand dollar turnover, right? So what we do is we account for that as investors. We take six hundred and ninety of the money we get as our quote unquote profit, but we like stow it away because we know it's not real profit. It's like phantom profit. Cause eventually that turnover's happening, right? Because they don't just live there forever, guys. If they did, that'd be awesome. But that's not how the game works, right? In addition, right? The same scenario for the vacancy and non payment, right? It's not like when you have a tenant there, you're paying fifty seven dollars to make up for their not being a tenant there every month that don't make no sense right 
you're saving up because eventually when the tenant does move out, it's probably going to be a couple months before you get a new tenant, right? You're going to have to have the tenant move out. You're going to have to fix up the unit. You're going to have to advertise the unit, things of that nature. And then, of course, evictions, right? Those suck. Sometimes tenants don't pay rent. Guys, welcome to C-grade real estate investing. If you're hoping to uh, get involved in real estate and never do an eviction, well, just X out the video. Well, first, like the video because it's dope. But then just X out the video and walk away from the computer, bro. Splash some cold water on your face because this ain't for you, okay? You're always going to have to deal with uh, evictions in the game, especially when we're talking about C-grade properties like this. But that's why we account for that. That's why we save for that, right? And then things you are paying every single uh, year or month, like your taxes, your insurance, things of that nature, okay? So after all the dust settles, your true, your real profit Six and a half, basically, okay? And if you could pick this up at 79.9, all you got to do, put down 19.975. Bank kicks in close to 60. That projects out as a 17.3% cash on cash return or an 8.1 cap. Now, here's the thing. If you've been paying attention to the Cleveland market, 79.9 is a ridiculous price for this property, okay? It's not the greatest. Like, it's just like a old school... 100-year-old C-grade investment, right? Like, we just have these exterior photos. I'm sure if we went inside, it's not looking like the freaking Taj Mahal, okay? I'm sure there's not granite countertops or anything of that. But even that, you're mid-grade, like, older, some deferred maintenance-type duplexes, uh, even with this one having a little bit lower rent than it should, they're still going for about 100k in the Cleveland market, right? So this one at 79.9, if you could pick it up at 79.9, that'd be amazing. Uh, however, it's possible you need you may need to go above that a little bit to take it down because the inventory is scarce and there's just uh, you know very few markets in the United States of America where you could buy a property like this for this price. Now, after you get your inspection, you might be worried like, oh, dude. The roof's older, the furnaces are older, hot water tanks are older. Like, I get investors all the time that they go under contract on a property like this, and then they get the inspection report, and they find out the roof, furnace, and hot water tanks are old. Then they want to know the price of brand new roofs, furnaces, and hot water tanks, and then they think they just get to deduct that off the, uh, the price. No, that's not how it works, bro. Properties like this, with those items all being older, are normally trading at about 100k it's supply and demand right so this one being in there at 79.9 is a freaking gift you got to move quick we're probably going to be in a bidding war also for frame of reference roof on a bad boy like this lasts approximately 30 years costs about 7 g's furnaces last about 30 years cost about 3 g's hot water tanks last about 15 years cost about a g a piece okay that's so everybody knows what that stuff costs but all that said Everything I see here, absolutely worth the list price of $79.9. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.